friends, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Rachel. If you've never been here before, um, I am doing well. I'm trying. I'm attempting at filming videos and having videos up for you guys for 25 days leading up to Christmas. So I might have some new subscribers here and there. Um, so I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Rachel. Today I am doing some hoop mail. So welcome to day nine of these December videos. In the spring, I have something called Spring Blitz where I do videos for 30 days leading up to my anniversary of being on YouTube. So maybe this is my winter blitz. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have a name for it. But anyway, um, this is day nine and I already did a ho uh, hoop mail a couple days ago using the Cray Paper All Heart Collection. So you may have seen that video, um, but um, if you didn't, I'll kind of explain what hoop mail is if you don't know what it is yet. I'm sure you do, but you basically take an embroidery hoop and you do what I did there, just trace the back of the uh, hoop and then you're going to glue it on the back of the hoop. Sorry, I keep saying hoop, but that's what it is. And then you're going to make a pocket basically. So kind of like just like a loaded pocket, but we're using an embroidery hoop. These you can get from any uh, craft store. I got these at Michael's. I think my mine was like $2 or something like that. Not, not too expensive. Um, and I don't do these hoop mails all the time. I like to switch it up. So um, I decided to do two. I was feeling in the mood to do a couple. So um, yeah. So some of these papers, I don't know. I know this, mm, yeah, this pocket, this front one I think is from Dear Lizzie. She's magic. I'm almost 100% sure. But I'm not sure about the back one. I think that might be from her collection before. Um, I just used some Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, I think it's called, um, and that worked out just fine. Um, it, I usually use hot glue, but this glue worked pretty well. Um, what I'm going to do here is make a little shaker. So I wouldn't necessarily copy the way I did this, but this is the way I did it. And sorry, it's off camera, but my fuse tool does not reach that far. So you'll see in a second, but I basically I have this template on that. I just drew on paper and then I put it onto cardboard of a star and, um, and then I use my fuse tool. I don't know if cardboard is necessarily the best <laughs> thing to use, but it works for me and I try to be careful and yeah. So I trace around the cardboard, uh, cut out when I'm using my fuse tool and I fuse it almost all the way and then I add some sequins in and just going to close that up. This is a sequin mix I made for my last hoop mail. If you saw that one, I had some leftover. I'm doing the voiceover for this one first, so it's kind of confusing in my head. I don't know why I did it this way. I should have done the other voiceover first, so I I didn't make a mistake or anything, but I think I'm doing okay here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put that star on. I did want to make this a shaker one, but um, I, it just didn't work out. I think like I wanted to make it a shaker pocket like the last one, but I still think it looks really cute, and I love how it turned out. Um, in the Dear Lizzie, she, she's magic collection. There's a lot of really great, um, layering pieces, which is awesome. Um, one of the many reasons why I love this collection. So it makes it really easy to make, um, little clusters on projects because there's so many layering pieces like tickets and, and, and graph paper and, and tags and like lined paper, lots of great pieces to use. Um, I use my scissors to ruffle up the edges of each thing, each paper, uh, to give it some more texture. And I'm using this little, um, like badge that's from a, uh, an older Dear Lizzie collection. I'm not sure which one, but um, it actually went really well on here. And I feel like I've had it in my stash for a while, but it matched the collection pretty well. So it was kind of a no brainer to use. I like the way that looked. So I'm just trying to build up this cluster. Um, 
And there are so many different things you can do um, to decorate this. Like I said, you can make a shaker, which I did in my last video. You can just use paper. You can paint the hoop. You can um, put embellishments all around it. You can put um, like lace and trim around it. Um, so many different options to make this kind of your own. Um, I maybe went a little bit simpler. I don't know, but I'm still really happy with how it, how it turns out in the end. So I like the way it looks. Um, yeah. So I hope you've been enjoying these videos. Um, sorry, I just went to go grab paper. Um, if you missed some of the videos, um, from the past week and a bit, I have done some DIY rosettes and DIY um, envelopes. I've done a December daily video and December daily prep, wild hair kit unboxing. I did a random scrapbook layout using the All Heart collection. So if you're interested more in that, then you can look out for that. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing the past week and a half. So if you want to catch up on videos, you're more than welcome to, obviously. <laughs> um and I hope you're going to love the videos coming up. I'm looking at my schedule now and I'm recording this on December 3rd and this video goes up on the 9th and I'm looking at my schedule and I don't really have much scheduled for past the 9th. So, I mean, by the time you see this video, hopefully I do maybe some December daily videos or something once I get going with that. I don't really know, um, like how long, like what, basically what I'm going to do for my December daily videos, I think, um, you probably would have already seen one already, but I haven't even, I've printed out some photos, but I haven't really done much with my December daily yet other than the prep. Um, but what I'm hoping to do is record almost every day or every day that I do. And then, um, speed it up and edit it and edit it until it's ten, about 10 minutes long. Cause that's usually about how long my videos are about 10 minutes. Um, and then I will, um, have it at that, whether it's two days worth or six days worth. Cause some days you don't really do much, but then some days are filled with tons of things. Like, um, December 1st was like a couple pages long in my six by eight, um, album, whereas there are other days where it's only one page and it's very simple or not many pictures or not much journaling. So, so yeah, so I think I'll just do it where it's 10 minutes long, two days, six days, doesn't matter how many days. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm just kind of thinking out loud, I guess. <laughs> um, so here I'm trying to decide kind of how to fill in that space there. And I believe I end up going with these sparkly thickers that are really, really nice, really pretty colors. Oh yes. I think I write, put the words, hello friend. I'm using these, um, Paige Evans, pink Paisley thickers or stickers, um, from a couple of collections ago. They're nice and tiny and all different colors. I love them. They're so pretty. Um, I wish every collection had little, little guys like these. Um, but I tried to use colors that were matching and yeah, so I'm kind of nearing the end of this almost. I still have a little bit more to do. Um, these hoops came with these stickers that um, that had, excuse me, that had the price on it. So in that top left corner, that's what that little blue mark was. And I just had so much trouble trying to get that off. It was not working out for me. So we're just going to cover it up. And I usually do something on the top anyway to try and cover up that metal part. But at this point, it was more important for me to cover up the blue sticker than the metal part, because I think the metal part kind of makes it look like it's kind of a part of the hoop, right? That's that's what it is. So um, that doesn't bother me too much. It might bother some other people. It does not bother me at all. Um, so I'm just trying to use some of the same elements up top that I used on the bottom to have it all flow together. Um yeah, this collection is so pretty. Dear Lizzie, She's Magic, really pretty collection. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun working with it. So um, I was just going to fill it with some things so I could show you more what it looks like. But then I gave up. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, um, yeah, so here's close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're feeling inspired. And have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.